antioxidants can help fight off free radicals. I love these like buzzwords and reduce the risk of chronic diseases in dogs. Yay. Okay. So I thought those were going to be way too easy for you. Well, side note about antioxidants, which is interesting because I just started down this little sort of like rabbit hole or whatever is. So I, I, I sort of have this need to just continually make things for, you know, it's just why I love my job so much, but also just in general. So I've been been making, uh, you know, a lot of gummies for the dog recently, and I was uh, wanting to incorporate some more teas, so I was incorporating green rooibos tea, um, and it's actually interesting, there's, that's, that plant is only actually grown in one part of Africa, um, it's not grown anywhere else in the world, and there's this, I, I don't know, like I said, I just started sort of looking into this, but there's actually an antioxidant compound in it that doesn't exist in any other food. Um, oh. on the planet. And so I do think that's interesting because most other things you see, everything in nature is made of the same thing. So you see those things. So it's, it's just kind of interesting to find a food that has a specific, you know, um, I just have to see like how much it's been studied and that kind of thing. But, but yeah. yeah. And why, why it would exist in that location of the world and nowhere else. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't, I, I don't know if it's just like the climate, um, specifically, but I did make the rooibos chamomile ginger gummies for him last night and update. He did eat it this morning. So that was good. He liked them. Yes. Good. Good. I, I don't venture into those areas very often because my dog, as we have talked about is so picky, so picky. If it is not meat, there is no way this girl is taking it from you. <laughs> she will, she'll be nice sometimes. Like if I hand her a carrot or something, she'll like gently grab it and then walk a couple of feet and turn around and drop it on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> now I get to clean it up. Um, yeah. Some dogs are really like that. I mean, it's, I, I, you know, I will say that Huckleberry definitely eats like, you know, the egg yolk and the food and, you know, those components first, the sardine or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. He does eat the vegetable. He does eat our blends and it is a huge, you know, huge part of his uh, nutritional success, but he does definitely eat everything that's animal based first. So, 